Hey guys! Welcome back to another Poke Crossings video. I'm Charlotte and today I'm going to bring you along on a dreamy hunt. So, Murphy has left Ceratop Bay. He has gone, which I'm a bit good about in one sense, but in the other sense he was just a bit boring, like he didn't really do anything. So it's time to go back on another dreamy hunt. I've got an empty plot which is down here if we just squeeze past Goose. All the way down here. This is our empty plot and we need to fill it. Now, Murphy was my one and only cranky villager. So I really need to try and replace him with another cranky villager. Um, but we'll see who comes up. My number one on the list is Oct Octavian, Octavian, Octavio, how the hell he say his name? The Cranky Octopus. He's my number one. I asked Twitter last night who the best cranky is. And apparently it is him. So he's number one on my list. But I've also got a list of all the cranky villagers up on my phone. Um to try and get cranky. To try and if you've seen the video that I did about the personality types, I like to have that nice balance. But Let's see who we can find. I can always be swayed to find someone a little bit different. So we have got in total 20 Nook Mile tickets. So, fingers crossed, we are going to find someone cool. I want to fly, please. Yeah, let's use that. Come on. Let's use a Nook Mile ticket. Also, uh, thanks for the support, guys. We recently hit 5,000 views, which is pretty cool for a channel that is three weeks old. So, pretty stoked on that. As always, if you enjoy the content, guys, we put daily Animal Crossing content out. So, please consider hitting that subscribe button, drop a like, get involved in the comments. I like to always see comments and have a good conversation about what oh, the video is about so yeah come on guys get, get involved all right who are we gonna find nook mile ticket number one number uno I wonder if it's gonna last longer than last time when it was like the first ticket all right wilbur cheers bud right who have we got here who is that? I once turned this island into like a tarantula island and it was really good but it was just well annoying like the tarantulas kept like running around here. Who's this guy? Let's have a chat with him. Robin is... Oh no. Sorry Robin. It's not happening. Yeah, we're visiting. See you later mate. I'll have that fossil while we're at it. I don't know if I need another fossil because like Blavers hasn't told me my museum is like finished but I am pretty sure I finished it. Like I thought the only fossil that I was missing was the Triceratops like torso funnily enough um, and oh let's just check for recipes and yeah so I got that like I don't know, about a week or so ago and he didn't say anything so I don't really know what else I'm missing but I haven't like been tracking them so who knows what is happening all right also guys while we're on the mystery island tour um I think I did a video a while back talking about a while back my channel's three weeks old <laughs> i did a video like a couple of weeks ago um and we talked about the the kind of like the trick if you like at making him blush and does it make you take take you to a rare island apparently now this is pretty this is pretty rubbish if this is true apparently they've taken out hybrid island and rare fish island in like the latest update like those two islands you can't visit anymore which is that's pretty like rubbish because if anything like i don't know apart from like initially the islands like the nook islands are fun 
But now when you get to kind of this stage in the game, they're really good for hunting for a new islander. So I'm not really sure why they would take them out because they're like two of the better islands that you're always on the lookout for. So I don't really know what's going on with that, whether it's going to be a lead up to something else that's coming because obviously we know the wedding event is coming in June but we don't actually know what's next after that so whether it's something to do with something else that maybe that's coming up I don't know but yeah that's, it's not great I don't know why you take those out but who knows I like the data mines though. The, the guys who are doing data mines is like really interesting, like understanding the mechanics of the game and kind of seeing stuff or realizing stuff that you wouldn't necessarily realize without them doing the work, if that makes sense. I don't know if that makes sense. Does that make sense? <laughs> guys, it's so hot in the UK today, but it's like hurricane winds. We got a delivery because we've been redoing our garden. We got delivery of this like stuff that fills the joints in between the new patio that we're doing. And we took it out of the box and then boom the box like flew off down the street. It's absolutely crazy. Who is this? I can't have another like chicken or whatever because I've got goose, but who is it? Ken. I'm visiting from another island. My name is Ken. I'm a Barbie girl in a Barbie world. <coughs> I'm not going to be winning Britain's Got Talent anytime soon, guys, from the singing. <laughs> no, sorry, Ken. It's not happening, mate. You're not coming to Sarah Top Bay. You've not made the cut. Just, we'll just check the beaches. Make sure I'm not missing any of those. There we are, that's what I wanted. Alright, let's do it, let's go back. What do we reckon? Is this going to be a duplicate? From Patty. I was relaxing yesterday while reading comics and I thought of this recipe. Whoa, it's actually a new one. This I've not had a new DIY for what feels like ages. All right, let's head back. So there's two in, and yeah, I'm not that keen on the two that we've kind of met, but you know, we'll keep going. We'll keep searching for my perfect Islander. I was in two minds over to let Murphy go, but someone came from over from my Twitter and adopted him, so I know he's gone to a good home, which is really good, so yeah, I mean, I was ready for a bit of a refresh, I guess. Right, come on, Arville, sort it out. Do you know what you could do with? It's like a self-checking kiosk. If you've got like a Nook Miles ticket, you can just like self-check in. So you don't have to go through all this rigmarole every time. I'm telling you, I'm going to like bring Dodo Airlines to the 21st century. I went to it, well, it won't anytime soon because no one's allowed to fly anywhere. But like the last time I went to an airport, they didn't even bother because I had like an oversized sports bag, like my snowboard bag. And they didn't even bother like checking that in anymore. Like it's all through that like, you have to put it on the scales and press the buttons and then it gives you like a thing, you stick it on your own bag. You put... Honestly, like I literally didn't speak to any kind of member of staff from that airline the whole process. Which is which is fine, it makes it smooth, but obviously it's a bit of a nightmare when something goes wrong, but it's all good. Right, who have we got? I need like a drum roll. Number three, and then French don't really work in my Yorkshire accent, I must say. Right, we're catching bees, chopping trees, and we have got... I have no idea who we've got. No, it's not happening. Barreled? Barreled? Is that a thing? No. 
No, it's that is that is not happening. Sorry, Barold, mate. You, no, sorry. I don't think I've ever even heard of Barold. Why? Like, no. <coughs> Rejected. I feel like I'm gonna say this, and then like someone's gonna like get involved in the comments, like, "Oh my god, Barold's amazing!" And they're like, "Oh great, I've like got stuck with someone." Pretty late in the day as well, like, I mean, it's like 7 o'clock at night now, and I'm a bit worried that I'm going to leave it and I'm going to get some randomer. Right, let's go home. Okay, three tickets in. At least it's going a little bit better than the last video, where, like, one ticket in and we found the perfect island there. We found Bo. He's an absolute dream. Little cutie pie, lazy boy. Um, yeah, so he's definitely staying. I've got a good balance of islanders at the minute. The next, the only, like, the one that I'm really not a fan of is Opal. Uh, so she's definitely on kind of my not bo too bothered about list. I mean, it's not as extreme as I'm going to barricade a house and start hitting her with a net, like, but she's kind of like my least favourite. And after that, it would probably be Lucha. Lucha gets on my nerves a little bit. But otherwise, I've got a good good balance. Um, I like the majority of my islanders, so... But saying that, I do like to have, like, a few, like, rogues, because then it means you get that variation and you get to go dreamy hunting. So, yeah. Time for takeoff. Time for tubby bye byes. Time for tubby bye byes. Also, guys, you should see um, if you go onto my Twitter, or I'll probably upload it to YouTube as well. Someone on Twitter drew my Animal Crossing's character. It's actually insane. Like, I'll um. If you go on my Twitter, like, I've shared it and I've, like, linked to it so you can see her artwork, but it is so cool. Like, she's drawn my Animal Crossing's character and I absolutely love it. Right, who we got, who we got, who we got? This is number four, right? Yeah. I'm pretty sure this is exactly the same island. Frog. Oh la la, what's his name? Jeremiah. Jeremiah Springfield. <laughs> Look at his mouth. <laughs> nah. Needy. Nah. Not really feeling him. I mean, he's alright. He's quite cute, but. And his mouth. He's got a funny mouth, but. I don't, know, I don't really. When I'm this early into my like my my Nook Mile ticket express journey, whatever you want to call it, Dreamy Hunt Express, I'm not. I don't really want to sell for him. Really, I don't really. Who's this one from? Cherry. Three real nuts. And she wants. She's going to become a pop star. Oh my god, she's like Cookie. Cookie's obsessed. I think I've got that one. Ah, oh, maybe not. I often find, like, when you come on the Mystery Island tours, the DIYs that you, if you find, a, like, the message in a bottle, they tend to be new DIYs rather than the same, like, I seem to get more duplicates at home, like, on my home island rather than on the Mystery Tours. Is that a thing? Let me know, guys, in the comments, when you go Mystery Island tours, do you tend to find that your DIYs, are, like, you get more variants? I, f I find you get way more duplicates when I'm on my island. The minute I do something like this, I tend to find a little bit more of a, a variation, but maybe that's just, like, coincidence. Who knows? All right, so let's keep going. I want to fly, please. Oh, 
We'd like to go on another Nook Miles ticket tour. Come on, Orville, sort us out. We're searching for a dreamy for our island. Airborne. Let's go. Right, come on. What would dodos do? Do -do -do -do. All right, let's see what's going on. Who do you reckon, guys? We've seen a good variation of animals. Oh, we've landed on Bamboo Island. Hey, is this a kangaroo? Oh no, I can't really see him. It's Rooney. It's Ro who's Rooney? What personality is he? What personality is Rooney? Let's have a look. See, Rooney's cranky. I mean, I quite, uh, I quite like him, but um, I don't know. He's not. He's just not like. 100% what I'm looking for. And I think we've still got 15 tickets to go. So. I think I would have been more inclined if it had been a girl kangaroo because I like it when they've got little babies in the pouches. But yeah, that's it. We're off. We're going to keep going. I feel like I'm going to regret this. I'm going to end up with someone like. I don't know what I'm going to end up with. J Pop! Time to go home, please! Do you want to be another good option as well? Is like, if I was here, and like, they were like, oh, where, where do you want to go? And you could choose to use another Nook Mile ticket, so you almost go like island hopping, rather than having to go home and then back out again. I don't know, I'm not sure. That's the quality of life that Nintendo would bring to this game. I feel like there's a lot more that they would bring before that feature, <laughs> for sure, but who knows. Hey, hey, hey! Come on, help me out. Yeah, I want to use my Nerf Mouse ticket. Time to take off! Come on, let's get this seaplane going. Hey, look, you're not allowed pizzas. Oh, they're party poppers in that sign in the background. What would dodos or what wouldn't dodos do? Who knows? This guy, it's been so dusty today when I've been doing all this work in the garden. I've literally got dust. Like, I've had a shower, but I've got dust in my eyes and my ears and my mouth. Okay, let's see who have we got this time. Oh, no. <coughs> Looks like a beast out of Beauty and Beast. Nah, not having him. Why not? I've had, I think it was Rory that I had in my campsite once and I didn't like him either. No, I know because you are scary looking. I am not dealing with that. Uh -uh, it's too scary. I mean, I'm sure he's nice, but it's just a bit scary. Any bottles? Or are we good just to go home? <laughs> Guys, if you see... Well, if you watch this video, and you... You know, you think I should have sort of picked one of these people, make sure you let me know in the comments, because I need to know, like... <laughs> What I've potentially walked away from here. So I feel like it is a bit hit and miss when you're like dreamy hunting because you have like the ideal dreamy but you don't actually, unless you've had them in a previous game, you're not really sure like 
exactly how they're gonna gel with you or the rest of the islanders. Like I, when I first started, I got Goose and Shari, and I was just a bit like, all oh, right, whatever, yeah. Now I absolutely love Goose. I would never, ever, ever let him move out because I absolutely love him. But I wouldn't have thought that to look at him, and I would have probably walked past him or like flown past him on a Nook Island tour. So it's a bit of a weird one, really. But I'm gonna stick to the plan. Octi Octavio, Octavian, Octavian. He's like my number one. I like the Octopus Islanders. And he's obviously got cranky personality, so he would fit well with my Islanders. And he was kind of like the favourite when I put it to Twitter. Everybody was saying him. So we're going to keep going. Time to take off. Let's go. I thought my game had glitched out as well last night because. I've heard loads about the moving out glitch where if people are like adopting islanders and stuff it can like get stuck and then you glitches out and that like somebody came for my islander and they had time travelled in order to get an empty spot and then they went to speak to Murphy and I went to Murphy's house afterwards it was just like I've moved out and I was like no, I honestly thought I was going to be stuck with like that house that they said I've moved out, but today it was fine. I think I just didn't realise how quick it changes when your islander gets adopted, so I've never, never really done it before. But, okay, who have we got? Whoa, he's cool. Who's this guy? I like his like twisty. Zell. What is Zell? Is he like a... See what, I think he might be... Smug? Let's have a look. Let's have a look. Yeah, he's smug. Now, he would be a really good replacement for Lucha, but... Obviously, it's not Lucha that's moved out, so we need to continue our search. But I do like his look. I like how like curly his antlers are. I really like him. He's cool. All right, let's just check the beach and then we'll go. Okay, so that was a bit better, so maybe we're like going in the right direction now. We're starting to get, I'm not really sure that I have a pattern, but you know what I'm saying. We need to find my perfect dreamy. Come on guys, help me out. Can't we just do like a flyover? We fly over like 10 islands, checking out the window, seeing who's on there and then like carry on going? No? Is that not a thing? Okay, if you say so. Right, we've got three, well, we've got 13 left. Um, so what I'm probably going to do is going to do these three. And then I'll stop the video there for tonight because it's going to be quite a long video. If we haven't found someone in those next three tickets, I will carry on and then I'll bring it to you for tomorrow's video. So it might be two parts if we don't find someone in the next three tickets. But we'll see. We might be lucky. We might get him now. Who knows? Time for take off, please. I've literally got dust everywhere. Like. Come on, is this going to be the one, guys? Come on. Do, 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 do. Is it gonna be? Right, okay, we get it. You're there. Who's it? Who is it? Who is it? No. I've already got two monkeys. I can't have a third monkey. Let's talk to him anyway. No, not a chance. Elsie? Is it Elsie or Elise? 
Nah, I do not want no monkey with lipstick. I'm not, I'm not about that. <coughs> I am always down to dish, darling. I'm sorry, but I'm not dishing you. See you later. No dishing here. Do you have any bottles? Alright, let's get out of here. I feel like I've had my limit of bottles now. Like, do you just get two or...? <laughs> Right, two more tickets. Are we gonna find them or are we gonna move it on to tomorrow's video? Who knows? No, we've not left anything behind. Come on, Come on Wilbur. Help us get started. Do, do, do. do, 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 do. Right, come on, let's do this. We're gonna fly, fly, fly. I don't even know what it is about this pineapple hat. Like, I would never ever wear a pineapple hat in real life, but I really like it. I can't remember who gave me it. It might have even been Lucha. Come on, Will, but you know I'm waiting. You know we've got. You know what the mission is today. Come on. Oh look, it's our sister for oranges. I've got hundreds of oranges. Who is it? Going to be do, 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 do. Oh, it's like a bird. He's pretty cool. Keaton. Is it a he or is it a she? Wingo. Wonder what personality Keaton's got. Shall we have a look? You guys probably will already know, but... See, Keaton smug as well. I, guys, come on. I know I want to replace Lucha, but I can't replace Lucha until I filled Murphy's slot. Come on. Oh. This is from Bangle. This is another wannabe pop star. Cherry dress. I am never gonna make a cherry dress in all my days of animal costumes, I can guarantee it. All right, we're out of here. Time to go home, please. We are ready to rumble. Come on, Wilbur. Be interesting to have a look back at like once I've done this and work out if the game pushes you to have like the fill the villager personality that you don't have, like because they've obviously set it up like the reactions and their DIYs that is the best way to kind of get all that stuff is to have a balance across your island and we know that the first couple of villagers are always like your starting villagers are always a jock and like the big sister and then we know that the next three are always lazy normal and whatever the other one is and then the first campsite is always smut. So they are, they're already like setting you up to have a good mix of personalities. So I wonder like now, I haven't got a cranky villager. So I wonder if like they're showing me a higher percentage of cranky villagers. I don't really, I think I'll have to like go back and research if that's like a thing. 
but who knows? Or is it just like totally random who you like find and it's like a one in 400 chance or whatever it is that like you could get any of the islanders? I wonder how it works. It'd be interesting to interesting to have a look. Now, if I was a data miner, that's maybe something I'd be looking out for. <laughs> Not that I understand how data mining works, or understand if that's even a thing you could work out from the data. Right, I think this is our last ticket, guys. It is. And who is it going to be? No, I've already got an elephant. Can't have another elephant. I don't like the one I've got. Palo! Nice to meet you, Palo! Power's lazy, isn't it? Alright, so that is our 10 tickets up for today. Well, for now. And obviously, we haven't found the perfect dreamy that I wanted. So, I am going to cut the video here. And then I will see you back tomorrow for the second part of this video. And you can come with me again and we'll see who else we're going to try and find. See if we actually land a good dreamy or do, are we leaving it up to chance? What are we going to do? As always, guys, if you enjoy the content, please hit that like button. Get involved in the comments. And as always, we do daily Animal Crossing videos. So please consider hitting that subscribe button. It is free and it really helps my channel to grow and get out there in front of more people. So I'll see you later guys. Bye.